What's up guys, my name is Devin Wynn. Today I'm gonna teach you guys how you can create this infinite camera movement transition in Premiere Pro based off of the 100 bars music video directed by Cole Bennett. Let's go. Before you get started, if you guys are new to this channel, please make sure that you smash the like button and hit subscribe. It's free, all this content is free, so it really, really means a lot. All you'll be needing to create this effect is gonna be Premiere Pro, and we also are gonna be using the 11% Shape Preset Pack to add some camera movement to this effect, which by the way, if you guys don't have, make sure to check out 11%.net. There I spill all the sauce on how to spice up your music videos with sick preset packs that are really easy to use, literally just drag and drop. Make sure to check out 11%.net, and you can use this promo code right here for an exclusive 40% off any of your first purchases. I really dumped my heart and soul out into these presets, so it would really, really mean a lot if you guys could check it out there. You are gonna need to shoot some stuff for this effect, so let's go ahead and jump right into the tutorial. Step one, you're gonna need a tripod and a green screen. Go ahead and set up your green screen wherever you prefer, and just make sure it has a flat background and the green is just all one color. I'm shooting this outside. You usually aren't supposed to shoot green screens outside, but it really doesn't matter. The lighting is fine that day. Step two, you're gonna need a bunch of outfits so that you can just make a bunch of different characters. And step three, you're gonna need to record yourself a bunch of different times in all your different outfits. Record yourself for about 20 to 40 seconds depending on how long you want the effect to be and with that that's all the production part of this effect now let's go ahead and jump right into premiere pro all right guys so now that we're finally inside of premiere pro make sure you have all your clips lined up in a nice straight line and that they're all of equal lengths the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to create a mask draw this mask simply around the green screen segment right here so i'm just going to pretty much adjust a very simple straight square mask right here bump the feather a tad bit and now what i'm going to do is i'm going to select this opacity copy it and I'm going to select the rest of the clips and then command V to paste it. So now we have that mask applied, scrub through, make sure that there's no scenes or segments where the mask does not cover all the green screen. So I'm kind of just adjusting. Search up Ultra Key in our effects panel and we're just going to apply it to one layer only. Grab the eyedropper tool and just select the green and boom, there we go. We're going to hit the drop down on matte generation and just boost the pedestal like a bunch. And then I also might drop matte cleanup and then just increase the choke to like 25%. Now what we're going to do is we're going to once again select the Ultra Key right click it copy it and then just paste it to all the other clips right here and now we have a nice masked out version of each of our different characters now what we're going to do is we're going to apply the background layer right here so right here i just have a nice blank like mugshot screenshot search for and apply the offset effect to this now we're just going to apply it to the bottom and we're going to go ahead and leave that alone for now we're going to go to our very first character clip right here and we're going to create some keyframes so i'm going to go to the very beginning of the clip hit a keyframe on the position right here and i'm just going to drag him all the way to the right and make sure that he's completely out of the frame. And I'm gonna go to the very end right here and I'm just going to drag this position keyframe from the right side all the way to the left and make sure that they're all the way out of the frame again. And now if we play this out, you can see that we have our character like moving all the way from left to right. You wanna make sure that we move them pretty far off the scene. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to copy this, right click this motion, copy it, and I'm just gonna paste it simply to all the rest of our other clips right here. Now all we gotta simply do is just stack them up and make sure that they overlap a little bit so that we have duplicates of our characters. Now, depending on how you shot it or where you stood, the placement of each of these clips is gonna be a little bit different for everybody. You stack up each of your clips like these little, like this little nice stair pattern right here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and speed this segment up and voila, we have a nice like camera move transition. Now it's time to add some animation to that background layer. So I'm just gonna go ahead and trim it at the very end where our last frame ends. I'm gonna come to the very beginning of this bottom layer and I'm going to hit a keyframe on the shift center two offset and then I'm gonna go to the very, very end. And now this part, you're really gonna to have to like eyeball it and kind of mess around with the placement, but I'm just going to drag and adjust this all the way to the left, just like the animation of our camera. And there you go. You can see we have a nice, simple, basic camera movement. Lastly, what we're gonna do is we're gonna create an adjustment layer on top just to add some extra realism to it. So I'm just gonna create that adjustment layer. I'm just gonna drag it completely over the entire length duration. And I'm gonna go ahead and add some camera movement. Now I'm gonna use the 11% shape preset pack. I'm just gonna go ahead ahead and add some low camera shaking movements. Now, if you don't have the shake preset pack, make sure to check out the link in the description at 11percent.net. I really love to use this preset pack just because it adds some really cool virtual handheld camera movement. I applied it and it looks like the camera's kind of starting to shake even though everything's really still. There's a bunch of different presets in these. You can literally just drag and apply them to your adjustment layers and it creates virtual handheld camera movement. It's really, really fun and simple to use. You literally just drag and drop. And if you use this promo code, you can get a limited 40% off your first order right here for a limited time only. It's a really, really fun preset. I love using this. So make sure to check it out right here. Link in the description. But if you don't have the preset pack, you can just go ahead and add a transform effect to your adjustment layer and then just adjusting the position and scale of everything. And with that, guys, here is the final result.
you guys made it to the end of the video, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope at the end of this, you'll be able to walk away with an effect that you can use for your future music videos or any projects. Shout out to Cole Bennett for making this sick effect. Make sure to check out the 100 bars music video right here. And once again, if you really wanna speed up your editing workflow and just spice up your music videos, taking them to the next level, make sure to check out all our preset packs at 11percent.net. We have everything there from title preset packs to Adobe Lightroom packs. I really put a lot of effort in making quality products that can really just elevate your editing game. So make sure to check it out there at 11percent.net and use this promo code for an exclusive 40% off any of your first purchases. Limited time only though. Once again, thanks so much for watching and we'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.